Oh, your Sprint Nexo guy. Did you get a chance to play with it? I know there um, there's not many out on the market not, right not now. Not yet. Um, my, no? my friend has not even. Okay. Done. So this is uh, the Black Ray Playbook. Um, I'm not sure how much you've known about it, but we're yeah. pitching this device really as the professional grade tablet. And what we mean by that is that not that you have to be professional, but that you want the best in the device. So whether it's the best camera, the best car, the best bike, we see this as the, as the best uh, tablet on the market. So, yeah. So you, right now we can use this as a, like a black messenger. You can there's a couple things, yeah, I think what you're talking about is the BlackBerry Bridge, and what you can do with BlackBerry Bridge is if you have a BlackBerry today, you make a Bluetooth connection to the device, and what you can do is then read, respond, file, flag all your emails, calendars, contacts, uh, BlackBerry Messenger, that'll all happen from your tablet. It's really happening on your device, think of it as a screen to your BlackBerry, but that's all happening here, and you can type respond there. So like it's, you it's mark like, it red here, it's marked red on your BlackBerry. So you can do this and then and then have to work on the camera. That's right. The right right now right now the, it's uh, that's not working. The other uh, the other cool aspects of web browsing, we're not able to connect today to the Wi Fi but it's full HTML, full flash. So a lot of the web has games right in the web pages. Um, yeah. videos, you can see that all on there. Uh, size for us is a port seven inch screen. It's thin, it's light. We like the portability for us for our first time. Um, what else can I tell you about? Uh, multitasking. I don't know if we, we had a chance to see any of that, but uh, here we have the camera. It's showing your hand right now, but uh, you know you can have the camera running. I can minimize that screen. What else do we have? You can have web browsing running. Uh, I did have the need for speed. We can kind of launch that game again if you're ready to do that, but it'll run in the background. You see we still have our camera going. We could go up and launch another app. Um, anything we wanted to here. Uh, if I launch the calculator, you know, it's going to launch. And again, we can always get back to your need for speed. So, so you steer, yeah, you touch it, it's a brake. So this is just an example of the power that uh, the device has for the multitasking, the graphics, and what developers can do with it. So, when, um, if, if, if you're interested in like a lot of rim, what is the thing to have it? What's it good to have it? Like, to have it? It's very sensitive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I tried to play the game, I'm not very good at it. So uh, another aspect, of business or consumer, it doesn't matter, we talked about that earlier. We've got uh, docs to go, sheets to go, presentations to go, so it's going to have VPN. One question, would this be better for, like, like say, if I have like, an enterprise, like somebody wants to put their best server license in it? Uh, so it, 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 I'm on a BEZ, um, I don't know if you're on a corporate BEZ, if you were Bluetooth connected to this with Bridge, you would see your email. You could see just your, your POP3 email, or you could see just your enterprise email, or you could see both. Okay. Um, this doesn't actually connect to the BEZ, it's all happening on the device side. Oh, that's yeah. nice. But it's, it's nice where you can... Well, are we going to only have it for data only purposes only? Uh, this is not a phone. There's no voice capability. There will be a web chat.